This is Sal here, and I'm at Stanford Medical School with Dr. Andy Connolly, who's a pathologist here. And uh, this is the second in our series on, on looking at some of these slides. Yeah, so we left off last time, Sal, um, looking at this piece here, which is um, normal colon. Um, we had said this is an example of what you'd see at, at the edge of a specimen release right, for colon right. cancer. Now I'm going to click to the next one, which is wow. um, a slightly more worrisome area yes. if you're a pathologist looking through the colon. And so um, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here um, to take a look at these. Looks very worrisome compared to the last one. And so uh, what we don't like about it is we saw before, this is what the normal gland looks right, like. Right. It's, a, it's a test tube shape and goes right. down, and it has these cells which are normal. Now all of a sudden it looks a little thicker here, and what catches our eye also is these aren't just straight test tubes anymore. Right, right. Um, they divide. Um, they kind of go in and out like that. Right. So, but they still are test tubes. I mean, just following up what we said in the last video is that they just look like circles as opposed to test tubes because we're taking a cross section because they're kind of popping out of the, that, out that, of the two dimensions. That's right. But although when you come from the surface here and you go down, oh, right. they normally should tubes. never branch. I see. And so these ones are branching, I see. and that's always bad. Right. And then you can see um, the way when you're cross putting a cross section, there's normally just a little hole in the middle. Right. And that's where the mucin, you can see even see it spilling out oh, there, yeah. the mucin in the wow. gut. <laughs> and can. So, wow. So you can see it just kind of coming right out of there. This one here um, looks different. And what it is, it's piled up. Right. And so um, it's a little bit bigger around. And in order for these cells, there's you know more cells, so they're going to be all piled up and, and going like this. Wow. And they even branch. Wow. And so what this is, is that we look a little more closely at this piece and we say, hmm, I wonder if that's cancer. Could right. it be precancer, or is this just an area of irritation? And a, res a common response of the body right. to, uh, to irritation is some sort of change. Right, right. And like we were saying before, epithelium right. is the top layer. Right, right. And so it's facing the outside world. Facing right. the outside world. So right. if it's irritated, often the epithelium will change. And in this case, it's changing by undergoing more growth. Is it always, even if it's non-cancerous, is it like it's going to be a higher likelihood that it's going to become cancerous in the future? Um, a lot of cancers, it appears in the body, come from uh, parts of the body that are um, either irritated I or see. have some sort of environmental challenges right. that are constantly right. at them. And part of that is because there's a lot of cell division. I see. If you keep dividing a cell, you might have errors I see. in the DNA. I see. Response. So that's why skin cells bowel cells. That's right. Right, right. And even things like liver. If you keep damaging your liver, you might have right, um, ongoing right. things in liver cancer. Right. So when you're looking here, um, we uh, would the pathologist would look at this area and say, well, it's a dividing gland. It's kind of uh, thrown up in these areas. Uh, but largely, they're still making mucin or they're this type here, which looks like it's tall and probably absorbing water. I see. Um, so, so even within these test tubes, there are these, well, they're not really test tubes, but inside of these vessels, there are also the, still the, absorp the absorptive cells as well. That's right. So, right. so here, this is, uh, we would sign this off as hyperplasia. Hyperplasia. So hyper, like too much of something. Yep. Or, and, and plasia? Growth. Growth. I see. And I so see. plasia just means growth. And so hyperplasia means too much growth. But the important thing mm -hmm. is if you took away the irritant, right. it wouldn't do this. I see. So if you took away whatever the irritant is for the hyperplasia, it would go back to being normal. I see. I see. And that's just something we know. That that's right. And there's some stimulus that was causing this, this, these cells to do that. It might have been diet. It might have been some chemical. It could have been mm -hmm. just... Yeah. We're never really sure what, because right. so much of it is things that just float on through I and see. come through. So it's really hard to, to know. But yeah, this is probably too much growth in response to it. So, so all, it's possible that, you know, it just happened to be when this, this section of the colon was taken out. If this was done a day later, maybe, then maybe this might have not been there? Yeah, probably take a, um, a longer than oh, that, okay. a couple, couple weeks. A couple then, of weeks. Because what happens is that the cells come from the bottom and they work their way up towards the top. I see. And so eventually the top would behave. I see. Behave and itself. so the way the body works here, and it's kind of like the skin, is you, you just, it's constant. These cells are being used up because things are being kind of scraping by them and, and they, get, they get a lot of kind of use. They and, do. And, so and in fact, it, constant stream of there's humans. a lot known now about stem cells. And right. the stem cells for um, the intestine are these guys. Oh wow! So uh, how do you know, how do you differentiate those? There's cell a there's there's a um, at the very bottom, the uh -huh. bottom hemisphere. Yeah. There are going to be cells there that do not have the open chromatin and kind of elongated. There I may see. be ones which are endocrine cells, right? Uh, meaning they release hormones, right? And so they may have hormone releasing cells, but in this bottom hemisphere, right. That turns out to be where the intestine keeps them, and these guys are right. probably these. And just cells. as stem cells are undifferent cells that haven't kind of picked their jobs yet. They haven't, right. and so there's all kinds of stem cells. There's the stem cell that can make a whole body being. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but then there's also yeah, the kind that can make 
the rest of the colon. I see. Right. And so right. this one is probably the stem cell that can make the rest of the epithelium. Right. But these right. two different kinds. The two different types. Right. Yeah. So they're I down see. here at the bottom. That's about where you'd want them. Right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. 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 So um, so that makes sense. So down there are your stem cells, and it grows like that. So this is a hyperplasia. Wow. So um, I'd like to show you next the. Um, next step, which is the precancer lesion. Okay. Should we do that in another video? Yeah, let's do that in another video. Okay.